Okay, I am back from Dayton, and it is about an hour before dark. I'm going to go test out my KX2, which I never made a contact on yet. I played with it a little bit, um, tried to figure out the controls. I kind of know what I'm doing. I have to kind of mess around with it, but I have not made a contact on it yet. I'm going to go try to make a contact. I'm going to use the Pac-10. I'll show you everything I've got. In the bag, this is just a park setup, uh, closest park I can find. Let's see if we can get it done. Okay, actually went from 85, 90 back down to 60. I'm wearing all these cold clothes because it got cold again. It's been raining too, but it looks like I've got some decent skies. Good thing is it chased everyone away, so depending on how I set up here, I'm in Missouri. Last video I made, I was in Dayton. <laughs> Looks almost the same, but here I am in Missouri. I think I'm going to go up in that tree right there. So what I got to do is connect here, and let me show you what I got. I'm getting lighter and lighter. As time goes by, especially after this last trip to Dayton. All right, I've got my KX2. Got this is my antenna system, getting more and more streamlined. There's my antenna system, which I'll show you in a minute. Logbook, gotta have that. Coax cable the cheapest paddle you can get. I actually, Ellacraft informed me today that I was charged for an internal clock. They informed me that and asked me if I wanted a return or a refund. I said, you know what, why don't you send me a paddle instead? So I paid another $34 and they're going to be sending me the paddle that goes with that. So I'll have that in a few days and I won't have this piece of crap anymore. I still want the Begali though. Alright, there's my little battery. Got that at Dayton. Dayton, Dayton. <laughs> Alright, here's my pack tenon. Now, I have not cut this yet. You're actually supposed to cut it to a non-resonant length and they give you um, they give you recommendations. Something like 35 and a half feet or 41 feet or I have those recommendations so I might cut that today, but right now it's uncut It is supposed to be random length, but it's not supposed to be uh, The pack tenant is not supposed to be resonant for this particular one. There's another one that is Using a lot lighter string now, just one shot. I send it over, over, and then down. My bag is over there. So all I'm gonna do is hoist it up into that area. And I use this little clip that came with the Pactena to attach. And the rest of the wires, the rope or cordage is down there. So it's real easy to attach it here. I'm just gonna raise it up and see what happens. Raising the antenna up. It's going up over there. I'm not going to go into the trees with the actual wire. I'm not going to go into the trees with the actual antenna. I could use this as a weight. I don't want it to get tangled. So down here. I'd have too much tension on it. So now I need to add some length. So now I have some slack. I can pull the antenna further over. Use the antenna. Might try to operate from right here. So right here I need to hold this down. I'm just kind of learning. Never used this before. 
I'm gonna go add a little more tension to this, make it a little bit tighter. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, antenna, and this is the extra cordage. There's a guy over there watching me. You can go anywhere in the country. If you start filming something, people will watch you. Okay, now I've let it out. I feel real good about it. I can go ahead and get started. Okay, now I'm set up. I've got my 3 amp hour 12 volt battery power pole to Elecraft KX2. Turn that on. I already heard something. Um, and then I've got cable to Pactena all the way up to that tree. 40. I measured it. It's about 41 feet. And then it's sloping. That would be west. So it's pointing kind of northwest. I'd say north is more like that way. So I've got a sloper northwest. That guy and his dog just walked and that dog went across my wire over there, my cordage. I can't go anywhere. Look, there's nobody. Nobody. Where does where the guy go? He goes exactly right there. I can't f believe it. This thing tunes up very well. 1-0 to 1, just, just like that. Internal tuner, of course. Guys, calling CQ. WD4ER. SKCC. Okay, just made my first contact on my Elecraft with N9MM. I think it's NMIM. Yeah, N9MM. I don't know the time, but it's 10.124 CW. Today is Tuesday. I'm gonna have to go get the time. First contact, heard me very well. 599, baby. Whenever I actually make a contact, I try to write everything down, but I put a check mark. That way, if I have notes and I don't make a contact, I know I didn't make it, but 10 watts, that's the max. I put it on max, 10 watts here. I don't know if it actually puts, pushed that out, but, and then N9MM, Tuesday, 7.14 p.m., 10 watts. That's what I had it set at, at least. There's a lot of, there must be contests going on. I heard someone transmit SKCC, that's a Century Club, I believe. Straight Key Century Club. There's a lot of stuff going on tonight for a Tuesday. I know it feels like cheating, but this thing really helps. In case I miss something, W5WIL, this little uh, decoder, it's really helping me. Hey, it feels like I'm cheating a little bit, but I need the help. It makes it a little bit more fun. See if I can get three or four more contacts. And then I want to make my first phone contact on a KX2. Just a wire and a tree. And nobody's come around to bother me lately. Try to get this guy W5ZR. It 
It's using a straight key, so it kind of messes up my decoder. Some of these straight key guys, um, I am having a really hard time. Not all of them. Some of them are good, but some of them I have a really hard time. It, it just, just kind of gets distorted towards the end, usually. Some of them. Okay, just made a contact in Michigan. I panicked a little bit. He's going a little fast for me. Um, I just and, it, and there was some QSB, some some fading. There's a lot of fading. Um, w8. This is kind of weird. He's W8 IW, and then it's actually K. But I missed that, and he kept sending it because he would say K, and I would think okay, but actually it's IWK. That's that's a troublesome call sign to have a K at the end. I I get it, so I'm gonna have to be more careful about that. But W8 I. 8IW, he's in West Bloomfield, Michigan.